Hey everybody, welcome back to Better Computer. My name is Matt, and today I wanted to take you through three new features I've added to Quick Reviews since launch in the past couple weeks. So the first thing I wanna do is go to Letterboxd, which is where I have my kind of social presence online um, for watching movies. This is where everything gets logged, everything gets reviewed, and I really love Letterboxd, I think it's awesome. And a lot of people who use Quick Reviews also use Letterboxd. So I wanted to meet my users where they were. So if I'm reviewing something on Letterboxd, I'm gonna go ahead and log a review. This is for Watchmen Chapter One, which is quite good. I'd probably give it four stars. And let's go ahead and save it. I've written my review on Letterboxd, and now I want to kind of share this on social media with a really cool image. So that's where Quick Reviews comes in. And previously, you would have to kind of re-enter everything in Quick Reviews. Now, with a premium subscription, at least to Quick Reviews, uh, you can use our Letterboxd integration to pull in these reviews automatically. When I open the app, we see that review appear immediately. It's got my score there. It has the day I watched it. It has everything pulled in perfectly. If you use custom artwork, for the Letterboxd review, it's gonna pull in that custom poster as well. So all that's gonna work great. Now I just tap on it. I can export it however I want. I can see the text is not quite right. So let's shrink that up. There we go, feeling better about it. And I think that looks pretty good. I could share that to social media. Uh, I probably maybe want to change the, uh, the color of the score to the Watchmen yellow. There we go. And I think that looks pretty great. I could use the automatic color detection. I've already talked about this. None of this is new. The letterbox integration is the thing that's new. So let's go ahead and mark that done. How do we set that up? Basically, if you are a premium subscriber to Quick Reviews, you can go to the Letterboxd integration page and then enter your username. I've entered my test account here to pull in your uh, Letterboxd reviews. It works great, it works really well. It's powered by RSS. Basically, Letterboxd generates an RSS feed for every account for what they review, and I'm using that to pull in everything. There's no API integration for me to push reviews to Letterboxd, but I can pull in them for you. This is a really awesome feature, this is really, enhanced how I use uh, my own app, which is cool. So that's the first thing. Now, the second thing is the number one request that people have had for me since the app launched, which is to remember what <laughs> the reviews look like when you go back to them. So previously, those customizations I made with like changing the text size, changing the score color on the review for Watchmen, that would have disappeared as soon as I was done. I would have had to save it to like my photos to have a version of that. Now your color options and your font size options all save to the review. So if we go back into Watchmen, everything is just how I left it and I haven't lost any change or last lost any of the changes that I did. This is really, really nice. So if you make a bunch of customizations, you're not gonna lose those. It's gonna start saving, it's awesome. That brings us to the third thing, which is showcase mode. So I think these reviews are really good. They're really clear. They really show everything off really nicely but they're not 100% perfect. Um, and sometimes you wanna just like have the artwork showcase itself. And so in that case, if we go up to the top left, there's this layout option where you can do standard layout, square layout, or showcase, and showcase is new. So let's load showcase. And in that case, the artwork takes up the full image. You can swipe it up and down however you'd like. So let's go ahead and do something like that, or um, I might choose a slightly different artwork for this, but that's pretty decent. And let's move some stuff around. So let's go to text, let's go to position, and let's start moving the title up a little bit. Let's move the metadata up. Actually, let's move the metadata way down. And maybe there's not enough room at the top for that, so we're gonna move it way down. Um, that's actually as far as it'll go. I should probably update that. Hopefully that'll be out by the time this is uh, released. But yeah, you can kind of move this all around um, to fit how you'd like. And let's go ahead and change the font. Let's change it to PT Serif, maybe. Mm, that's not quite right. Um, maybe Caveat. Maybe, yes, but not for this review. Uh, let's do Poppins. Poppins is all right. You know what? Honestly, I just really like Notice Ans Condensed for pretty much everything. Um, but yeah, now I have this and I can go ahead and uh, save it to my photos and I can share this to social media. Really, really nice. And again, if I go into the review, all of those settings are saved and yeah, you can just get right back to it. So really, really happy with these updates. Again, a one-way letterbox sync to pull in your letterbox reviews automatically into the app. 
There's a new showcase mode for displaying uh, your reviews in a really cool, really nice way. And then finally, uh, there is just the ability to save your settings. So when you edit your reviews, all those changes save um, to this for you, which is really, really nice. I'm really happy with how this turned out, and I think you can get some really nice stuff here. So that's it for this update. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.